How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review on the channel. This one is a bit of a different one. This is a throwback one right to Christmas. Thomas in particular, and it is one man, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Yes, before yesterday's kind of new throwback SBCs got released, I said I wanted one guy, and Aubameyang was that guy. I got him, and then I tweeted out, do you want to see a review on this guy, a video on this guy, and it got a great response, and a lot of you did want to see this video, so if you do enjoy, lads, and it does help you kind of make a decision whether you should get him or should not get him, this, that, and the other, smash the hell! Oh, that thumbs up button straight away on this video. I'm going to say you were like, so yes, this video didn't go quite to plan. So on this video, lads, let's try and smash 1,000 likes for this review. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to gdway.com. Use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. And in the squad, we have links as well. Dortmund links. We have Dembele on the right-hand side. This is a formation I've never tried before. A 3-4-2-1. I've never, ever tried a free of the back. Well, I have tried a free of the back on a previous FIFA. I think it was uh, FIFA 15, maybe, so I did try it on there. But since then, I've never tried a free of the back formation. I thought, you know what? Let's push myself out of the comfort zone. Let's try a different formation. And I've got to say, it did bloody work. At the back, we want it to be strong, kind of a strong unit to allow the attack to flourish. So, we have David De Gea, Small and Rio Ferdinand, Laurent Blanc. Then in the midfield, we have two powerhouses in Ruud Hullitz and Patrick Vieira. And what that allows you to do is be flavorful in the attack. We have Dembele on the right-hand side, of course. He's better as a right forward or a right winger. But I played him as right mid, and he does get forward, and he does defend very, very well. On the other side, we have Schiller. I've got to say, he did very, very well. Royce is left forward. Pulisic is right forward. Both of them complemented each other very well. And we have the guy at striker, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Lads, let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. Now, I've got to say, this SBC is actually quite cheap. And you might be thinking, 100 to 110 is cheap. For an 88 rated, basically a walkout, Aubameyang, that is very, very cheap. When you compare this to his inform, which might have been like discarded a few times, turned in for SPCs, his inform that is 88 rated is 190k. So 100 to 1 cent for a car that is potentially better than that inform is a bloody bargain. 11 goals in 8 games. He did very, very well for me. And I was very impressed with the card. 3 star skills are slightly let down with the card. 4 star would have been more appropriate. And it would have been a lot better in game for the stop and turn in particular. When you look at his in game stats, you think. He's got very well-rounded stats, 91 positioning, 95 acceleration, 85 agility, 97 sprint speed. Look at his strength, 81, but, and this is a big but, his aggression was 47. That is a massive, massive, massive downside with the card, and I'll talk about that once we get the gameplay. Ball control, 86. Dribbling, 86 as well. Finishing, 92. So this guy knows where the back of the net is. High to low work rates. Perfect for a striker, in my opinion. High medium, high low, both perfect. The instruction I had in the card, get in behind, press the back line, like I do on every single strike I use. Wow, what a strike right in the back of the net. So he is capable of these moments of magic, which you expect top strikers to do on this game. That strike from Aubameyang in particular was fantastic because it highlighted a lot of what Aubameyang's about, his movement to get in behind, his willingness to run in behind, then he's got the pace to accelerate away from defenders, and then he's got the finishing on top of that. So this card is a very, very well-rounded striker. Look, he's pointing where he wants the ball. It's a bit of a fuck-up in defense. Aubameyang gets in behind, and Aubameyang scores. That was a chip over the goalkeeper. It wasn't a cross or anything like that. Sometimes they get a bit cocky in games and scoop chip the goalkeeper with an LT and cross. That was just a normal chip. I went to ground, slid the ball over him. That was intended. I know that was a mess up in defense. Aubameyang was onto that in a flash. That is what he gives you. This kind of explosive strikerness. Strikerness? Explosiveness in the striker rule. Look at that strike, man. Right in the top bins. What is strike on the right foot of Aubameyang? His left foot is just as good, of course. He's got a four-star weak foot. That is just as good as having, like, a five-star for me in particular. Five-star is the be-all and end-all. 
but a four star is appropriate. It's uh, it's adequate. It is very good for the card. When you look at these pros, of course, we're going to have his top speed. It is outrageous. Aubameyang on this game is very, very fast. And what you want to know is, do you feel that pace in game? I just got another scorcher in the background. Do you feel the pace, the, the kind of 97 top speed, the sprint speed? Do you feel the acceleration on the card? Yes, yes, yes. You definitely do. You feel the 97 uh, sprint speed. You feel the 95 acceleration because the second he gets on the last man, nobody's catching him on this game. That's a very unfortunate effort. Great save by Courtois. But like I'm saying with his sprint speed, with a right chem style on him, you don't have to even put a pace chem style on him. You don't have to have Hawk on him, Engine on him, Hunter on him, Catalyst on him. You don't have to have any of that kind of bollocks on this card. What you need to do is get like a marksman on this card. Improve like the, the shooting the the physicals the the dribbling on the card improve what he's already good at and enhance those things and marksman is the perfect chem style for the card in my opinion as he gets him behind and scores another goal and I, i'm saying that so that much gets him behind because this is exactly what the card do he utilizes his pace he's a very intelligent card i'm not saying he's going to play the game for you but sometimes he makes the right runs. One through ball is away. Nobody is catching him on this game because he's so fast. And like I said, if he makes the right run, which he does all the time, he will get in behind the defenses. Even if he doesn't make the run, you get him on the ball, run straight at that defense. Don't run sideways, don't run right. Run straight at them because sometimes on this game, a lot of players uh, kind of know where you're wanting to go. They, they know that you want to go right. They know that you want to go left. If you run direct straight at the player, sometimes they move out of the way. And with Aubameyang, if they do that kind of jink and go left or right, Aubameyang is in behind and he's going to score the goals. He's definitely going to score the goals. He scores a left foot strike. In the background, the rest of his pros, of course, we have the finishing. We have the heading on this card. This card is six foot two, so he can win headers. He's jumping, I think it was like 80. His head and accuracy was very good. So in the air, he's very capable of being a hold-up striker. So not only is he a portrait on this game, not only is he a clinical finisher, he's also a target man. And with the head and accuracy, he's got the jump that he's got, the height that he's got. It sticks him at the near post for corners. That is very important as well, because if you've got a good header of the ball, a good finisher of the ball, at the front post, you can score. The headers, you can score the bicycle kicks, you can score anything if you want to play it short, cut it back, you can score a multitude of different ways with Aubameyang at the near post from a corner. So that is an added incentive to get the card, those near post corners as he gets in behind, once again, scores the goal. In that game, I actually got beat, so that goal was like all in vain. So the worst stats with the card, we have the balance of 70. It isn't great sometimes for shots in particular. He is off balance and he plays a bit like Bambi at times. He is quite tall, but on ice, he will skate all over the bloody place. I mean, he's not stable sometimes. He's like, whoa, 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 stop where you're going. This card is kind of falling over places, but he's got the strength to kind of bounce off opponents. But at the same time, his aggression is very, very low. Meaning that if you've got the ball, if you're challenging for the ball, he's not going to win those 50-50s. He's going to lose out. So the strength is kind of irrelevant with the card because his aggression is so damn low because aggression, strength, they go hand in hand. If you can win the ball in 50-50s and you've got very high aggression, very high strength, you're going to win the ball so many times. So don't buy me eye. He isn't as strong as the card advertises. Let's just say that. The long shots on this card are great. And of course, the free star skills. I wish it could have been four, but unfortunately it's not. As he wins a free kick in the background. So, in terms of an overall rating with the card, I'm going to give him a 9.4. That is very, very high. There is certain things that brings him down, like his balance, his aggression, his free star skills. What a strike that is from Dembele. If you can see through the blurriness, value for coins. 10 out of 10. Why is it a 10 out of 10? If you haven't given me like an overall rating of a 10 out of 10, why is this value for coins a 10 out of 10? I'll tell you why. Because he is so damn much cheaper that he's informed that it's the same rating. 190k at the moment of me recording this video for his informed ETA rated 
100k basically for this card. It's a bargain. And if you've already got the place in your club, it could be like 70k, 60k, 40k here and there. Just do it, lads. Just do it. This card will stay with you for the rest of FIFA and... I'm definitely going to utilize them in squads alongside Dembele, alongside Pulisic. It's going to be great, and I'm happy to have them in my club. Foot champs ready? Yes, yes, yes. This card can play in the foot champions, and I'm sure that you'll see him more now he's kind of been re-released. You'll see him more in the foot champion seasons, definitely which I was playing in and which I was winning in, scoring in, etc, etc. The similar players, most of them have like three star skills, four star weak foot. So we have Torres in there, and Mbappe Lozan, his team of the season, which he feels like a team of the season card because he's that good, he's that fast, he's that kind of, his movement is just, it's second to none, it really is. And Dwight Gill's in there as well with a chem style. He goes to like a 90 rated striker or not higher than a 90 rated striker. So with that in mind, lads, I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, once again, bring the hype, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.